Hello everyone, today we're going to be making a hair bow using cotton fabric. These are just fat quarters cotton which I got from eBay. I got all these, there was around 17 fat quarters of different floral patterns. I got these from eBay. I will link some in the description below, either the same or similar, so you can check these out. And these are beautiful for the spring summer. I'm going for this lovely sort of tealy blue colour with pink roses on it today. And I'm going to be using some dainty headbands. I got these from AliExpress and they're slightly thinner and they are super soft and they're really good for making these braided ones. I will link these in the description below also. I've done a tutorial on how to make this braided headband. I will pop a link to the tutorial here. So you can check that out and also with cotton fabric you can back it to make bows using your bow templates i've done a tutorial on how to do that as well i will also link that in the corner here if you want to try backing this with felt and making bows with your templates so for this bow today you do not need no template and you can make it either by sewing or not sewing i'm going to try and show you both ways now normally if I'm making a bow, I like to do both halves the same, either sew them both or no sew both sides. But for the sake of this tutorial, I want to show you both. So I'm gonna try and do one side with each and hopefully we can match it up as best as we can. First of all, you need to cut a square 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters or around four inches by four inches. I'm going to use just a biro pen for that on my fabric so I'm just going to mark where the 10 centimeter is and also down 10 centimeters I'm going to use my ruler because it's a lot easier actually to use a ruler so this is my 10 centimeter mark I'll also mark 10 centimetres from this side just to make sure I get it nice and square. So 10 centimetres and then I'm going to line my ruler up with my 10 centimetre mark here and my 10 centimetre mark coming from the top here. So I know that I've got a nice straight line going across there like that. And then I've got my 10 centimetre mark at the top now to line up with the bottom so I know if I cut this out now I've got a perfect 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter or 4 inch by 4 inch square and you will need two of these so I'm going to do that now and then cut them both out So we have our two squares now cut out. I'm going to take my first one and this is the one that I'm going to make no sew. So what you need to do is fold the fabric in half diagonally to form a triangle. And then we're going to fold it in half again. I'm turning it over this way because I just wanted to see the pattern and I've got this nice floral bit here so this is going to be the front. So you've now got this triangle folded in half and then half again and then on the underside we're going to bring these corners now into the middle slightly overlapping the centre mark. So they just very slightly overlap in the middle and these sides are straight. You don't want to pull them too much so that these come in at an angle. You want to overlap them so that these sides are straight and they slightly overlap in the middle at the bottom like that. So this is the front, this is the back. 
And now we're going to freehand the pinch in the middle. So I like to use my hot glue gun for this part. I'm just going to line that edge up a little bit better. So first of all, we want to make the, I like to call them hills and valleys. When you make the pinch, you have an ups, you have the ups and the downs. So the ups are the hills and the dips are the valleys. So we need our first hill in the middle. So we're going to fold the middle towards the back. So this is the back. So we've got our first hill. And now we're going to make a valley and a hill on the other side. So we're going to come up and then back down. So we've now got a hill, a valley and a hill. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. So we're going to fold it up and down. So you've got your triple pinch in there like that, done by hand with no sewing. And then to hold this in place, I like to use hot glue. So in between the valleys, I'm just going to pop some glue, just a tiny little bit, not too much. And then on the underside, we need to pop some hot glue in these, which are actually the undersides of the hills or the upside down valleys. So again, each little split, each little opening, pop a little bit of glue in there. And that will hold it all together. Any little frays, you can just trim them off. And then you should be able to then let that go and you've made your freehand pinch. And then for this half, we're going to sew the pinch in. So again, we're going to fold it in half diagonally to form a triangle. And then fold it in half again to form a triangle. I'll have this as my front because I've got some little roses peeking out the top there so they'll show. So with this being my front I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to fold these corners in towards the middle so we've got a straight edge here and this point at the top. Bring the other corner in to slightly overlap making sure it's even. And this time I'm just going to pop the clip on there just to hold it in place so we can now sew or pinch in the middle. So it looks like this. And then taking a needle, which I've just accidentally unthreaded, it was threaded. I've got some extra strong thread here with a knot in the end. Like that. And we're going to sew in six stitches across this bottom. I will just use a pen just to show you. You can do this as well if you like to make it easier. So going in through the top for the first one here. And then two, three, four, five. So as you can see, if I just remove this, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. They're evenly spaced around sort of just over half a centimetre between each one and around two millimetres in from each side. Place that clip back on there to hold it in place. And then we can sew in our pinch. So going in through the top for the first stitch. One. Coming back through for the second, third, and I'm just going to keep this pinched whilst I remove the clip. 
coming back through for the fourth, fifth, making sure you catch all of the layers. And the sixth one coming out from the bottom through to the top. So it looks like this. I'm just going to trim off this tail a little bit long. And then we're going to pull this tight to form the pinch. Pulling it nice and tight. And then once you're happy that it's nice and tight, just go through the last edge. Don't pull it completely tight. Go through that loop a couple of times and that will form a knot and hold that pinch in place. And then trim off the excess thread. So that is how you do the sewn pinch. And now we're ready to join these two halves together. So I'm gonna just pop some glue on that middle. And pop those two middles together. So you've got this lovely bow shape. And now we're ready to add that to our headband. So I've got my headband here and I'm going to cover this join where I've sewn the two halves together. So I'm gonna place some glue along that join and pop my bow along there. And then I'm going to cut off another piece of this fabric to wrap our center. So it's around an inch wide or two and a half centimeters wide. And it is six centimeters in length or almost two and a half inches in length. And what I'm going to do is fold in the sides again just popping a bit of glue in that end to keep those sides in the same with the other end Fold the two sides in. Just place a little dab of glue on there to hold those ends in place. And then we're ready to wrap around the center. So I'm going to start with the middle first. So just place a little bit of glue in the middle. Pop it over the center of the bow. And then finishing off underneath, wrapping it right around the headband, covering the join. Just going to run my lighter along that edge just to make sure that the cotton is not going to fray. Along that end. And there you have your beautiful cotton bow on a braided headband. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel 
And if you press the bell button, that will turn on notifications. If you've got any questions, pop them into the comments below and I will do my best to get back to you. Thank you for watching everyone. Bye.